Hi, and welcome back to our series on the XRP ledger. In this episode, we'll define some basics of tokenization. The XRP ledger was the first blockchain to support the tokenization of a variety of assets. This includes stable coins or other forms of value, anything from US dollars to euros, gold, stocks, and other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum, and even non-fungible tokens that might represent valuable items like pieces of art or cinema tickets. Tokens are often called issued assets, or IOUs, on the XRP ledger. This terminology comes from the fact that these assets do not physically live on the ledger. The IOU represents those items of value outside the ledger. It's what somebody will owe the holder of the token. So if a token is issued on the ledger that represents, say, a piece of art, the person who acquires that token is then owed the art that's represented. And any token on the ledger, including tokens for art, fiat currencies, cryptocurrencies, and more, can all be traded directly on the decentralized exchange, or DEX, which we cover in depth in another episode. Anybody can create a token on the ledger, and they don't need a smart contract to do so. It's a native function, built into the XRP ledger. It's also fairly simple to tokenize an asset. It only takes a few lines of code, or the use of a web interface, that walks the creator through the process step by step. To learn more about the fundamentals of the XRP ledger, please watch the next episode.